these objects were produced by 3D printers. Proof that for printing technology, the world is no longer flat. To make 3D printers, this company actually uses 3D printers. A technician starts by loading a reel of plastic filament into a printer. The printer melts the plastic into a thick goo. The 3D printer layers the plastic following a pattern from a digital file. This particular part is the extruder body. In real time, it takes about an hour to print the extruder. 40 different components of this 3D printer are produced using 3D printers. At this facility, 135 printers run non-stop, producing gears, brackets, and mechanism housings. This technology is truly self-replicating. Now a worker drills a hole in the extruder body. It serves as a conduit for the plastic filament during printing. He bolts a gear to the extruder body. He screws the motor to the extruder body and installs a second smaller gear on the drive shaft. A part called the hot end is installed next. It contains a heater for melting the plastic filament. The worker attaches the hot end to a 3D printed plastic mount and extruder. This completes the 3D printer tool head. Another worker feeds glass to rubber rollers. The rollers gently apply adhesive-backed polyester film to the glass. The glass will serve as the printer bed, and the film will protect it from scratches during use. To build the printer's aluminum frame, the worker secures the joints with 3D printed plastic parts. He installs two rods horizontally. They'll serve as rails for the printer tool head to move across. He clips the tool head to the rails. Then he loops a rubber belt around a motor on the side of the frame and links it to the tool head. The belt will drive the tool head along the carriage. Next, he attaches the print bed and its sliding support structure to the base of the frame. He connects a cord to the power supply and links it to the tool head. It will power both the motor and the hot end. He clips the glass to the print bed and tightens the clips with screws. In the testing department, a technician pushes the end of a plastic filament reel into a drilled channel in the tool head. He snaps a retainer around the feed point. Now he's ready to activate the 3D printer. For two-tone printing, they use two filament reels that feed into a double extruder tool head. The tool head layers the plastic one color at a time. This process takes about an hour. But that's not too long when you consider that it's printing a 3D object. Talk about generating solid results.